Let's go to 25104B. See, A had to do with water piping uh, systems as well as sprinkler piping systems. Now, B talks about other metal piping systems. And uh, one would be gas piping is an example of other, because it's not water piping, so it's other piping systems. Now, the code says that you have to bond other piping systems. Are you ready for this? If it's not metal water piping system, like water piping that we know of or sprinkler, then other piping systems also have to be bonded. But the way you can bond the other piping system, if the circuit that could energize likely to become energized, if the circuit that's likely to become energized, that's gonna energize that, if that circuit contains an equipment grounding conductor. John, are you aware of this rule? Absolutely. Okay, Absolutely. if that circuit contains an equipment grounding conductor, because mm -hmm. you gotta bond it. Right. And that's a circuit that could energize it, mm -hmm. but that circuit contains an equipment grounding conductor. Well, that equipment grounding conductor is what's used to bond the piping. Right. And if that's true, then there is nothing to do. Now, I'm guessing 100 years ago, circuits did not require equipment grounding conductors? Well, <clears throat> we didn't have equipment grounding conductors run in most homes because it was knob and tube. <clears throat> there you go. So if you ran a circuit 50, 60 years ago without an equipment grounding conductor to something that could energize it, well, then we had to bond it. But if you're running a circuit today with a circuit that could energize it, but it, it, if it contains equipment grounding conductor, which it has to have, well, that equipment grounding conductor does the bonding, which means we don't do anything at all. Right. Mario, let's, 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 let's make a PI. I want to phrase it a little bit differently the way it says. That is that if equipment is being supplied, it likely become energized, and it does not contain an equipment grounding conductor, okay. then it shall be bonded. Rather than simply saying, well, if it contained equipment ground, just simply saying, this is the condition, and, and if you don't have that condition, well, then we have to do this to make it a little bit more intuitive. So now looking at our graphic here, what I just said, and you can read this, metal, gas metal piping in or attached to a building is considered bonded by the circuit equipment grounding conductor, no additional bonding is required by the NEC. Now, um, there's a note. Two, additional information for gas pipe systems can be found in NFPA 54, National Fuel Code, and NFPA 780 for the installation of lightning protection systems. And I'm like, well, NFPA 54, National Fuel Code, that's the mechanical contractors that are licensed by the state doing mechanical work. NFPA 780, which is the lightning protection standard, and that's generally not gonna be required to be licensed by anybody. So if you're doing lightning protection systems, something with gas piping, you go to NFPA 780, and I think research has done some looking at NFPA 780 about the ground rod. It was eight foot ground rod, but it had to be two feet in the earth. And so, but if you're gonna to go to the concrete and case electrode, it had to be the size of the conductor, which is a design situation like that. That one over there will tell you in NFPA 780 that you have to bond things that are within six feet. So they get into the bonding. Now, NFPA 54, the National Fuel Code, it tells you what you have to do with gas pipe bonding. The National Electrical Code does not have any requirements at all having to do with gas pipe bonding. Now, if you go to 54, it says, hey, listen, you know, you got to bond this gas piping in accordance with NFPA 70, which is the code book. But we don't have any requirements to bond it. And if you were going to go that way, if you're going to follow NFPA 70, NFPA 70 says what? the circuit that can energize it, if it contains an equipment grounding conductor, can be serving the purposes of the bonding purposes, which means we do nothing. But there's an industry out there having to do with, here's the informational note too, I probably didn't need to have that text because I have the picture right here, about go to NFPA 54. Listen, I don't know anything about NFPA 54, I don't know anything about 7.1, actually I do, but let's imagine I don't, okay. I don't know anything about NFPA 54, 7.13 in the code, and whatever it is, they need to do it. But what happens is corrugated stainless steel tube guys, which is a picture like this here, there's been problems with this. The problem is that it appears that when a lightning makes an event and induces voltage on metal parts, John, mm -hmm. 
that that gas tubing, where it goes into the fireplace in particular, how many of you guys have ever seen gas tubing going in a fireplace? Is that what, an yeah. inch and a quarter opening, inch and a half opening, and then they run the tubing inside there? Mm -hmm. Right where it goes through, and this enclosure, if it's connected to an equipment grounding conductor, because sometimes we have a fan, right? Mm -hmm. And if you have a fan on there, connected to the equipment grounding conductor, and it kind of goes to this opening, and it goes to there, and there's a lightning event outside, it appears that that induced energy is not bonded, it doesn't go anywhere, and guess what it does? It has a little side flash right there, okay. and then it catches on fire. Now the correlated guys are saying, well, our problem is that that gas piping needs to be bonded, and, and when we bond things, right. we're doing what, John? When we bond things, we're doing what? We're bringing it together, not to clear fault, right? right? We're bringing it so that when the lightning event takes place, the gas pipe has the same potential as the lightning protection system. It's bonded to the lightning protection system. It's bonded to the electrical system. Everything is brought together, and so when a lightning event takes place, well, everything above Earth is bonded together, everything below Earth bonded together, and there's one wire in between. Well, the problem is that this tubing is said to be maybe a problem. So now NFPA 54 says this, let me go back here. Above ground portions of gas piping systems other than corrugated stainless steel. This is corrugated stainless steel, okay? Other than this, Above ground piping system, other than CSS, which would be what, guys? What, what would that look like? Like black iron? Yeah. Yeah, like right here, <clears throat> yeah. right? This, 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 this is other than this, right? This right here, other than this, that's likely to come energized, which means you're connected to a dryer or a range or something like that, shall be electrically continuous and bonded to an effective ground fault current path. That's pretty cool, right? 54 is using the word effective ground fault current path. Of course, nobody in 54 knows what that's talking about. Gas piping other than stainless steel, corrugated stainless steel, shall be considered to be bonded when it's connected to appliances that are connected to the appliance grounding conductor of the circuit. <gasps> They're saying exactly in 54 what the code is saying. Right. But that is if. That solid pipe. Let me go back here. If it's solid pipe. So we have to do it with the solid pipe. Now, it goes on, I think it goes on, and now this is uh, seven point, this is seven, one, this is seven, uh, seven point twelve point one. let's go to seven point twelve point two. Corrugated stainless steel tubing, gas piping, must be bonded to the electrical service grounding system with a six gauge copper, not longer than 75 feet. I don't know what you do when it's more than 75 feet, but, well, I actually do, but we're not going to talk about that right now. So they're saying if you have this, then you're going to have to bond it. Now, this is the fuel code. We don't know anything about the fuel code. I'm just giving you information. Somebody else is saying something. The electricians don't do this. At least it's not part of our code. And then it goes on to 7.12.3. So there's a one, which is the hard pipe. Two is a corrugated. You got to bond it. And then there's three. That's, that's three. I got that. In accordance with 7.12.3, corrugated stainless steel tube gas piping systems with an arc resistant jacket requires no additional bonding. So back over here, Mario. This is 7.1, 7.13.2. No, this is 7.13.1. Yep. Don't have to worry about bonding. This is 7.13.3. Doesn't require bonding. This is 7.12, rather, 0.2, it requires bonding. Mm -hmm. And when you have to bond the yellow stuff, then you use a six gauge wire and bond it to the service grounding electrode system. <laughs> <laughs> the grounding electrode system is the stuff that's where? Underground. 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 Yep. <laughs> I can't. It should have been like the water pipe to the service disconnect enclosure, to the service ground right. neutral conductor, to yeah. the grounding electrode conductor, or to any of the available grounding electrode. But it, these are 54 guys. They really mean something. Now, my son calls me every once in a while in Florida, and he's putting in a fireplace outside, or he's doing something, and somebody tells him, hey, listen, I need you to bond this gas corrugated stainless steel. Or, or no, they bond gas piping. They don't know about they, any, if it's gas piping. They want it bonded. Bonded. Okay. Mm -hmm. I said, son, there's nothing in the code. It doesn't tell us how to do this. 
and I'm not going to tell you how you're going to go to NFPA 54 and do it, because that's mechanical code. Who told you to do this? This guy. I said, okay, what did he ask you to do? Actually, son, here's what I suggest you do. You just tell him you're going to go ahead and you're going to run it over there. I'm just going to run it over there. Put it on the, the air conditioner, you know, connect it there. It was, <coughs> tell the guy whatever you're going to do. And he says, yeah, okay, that's good. Because, see, nobody knows what it's supposed to be done. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and it, it only needs to be done under certain conditions, people who are qualified. Now, what's going on in the industry? Um, the International Residential Code, IRC, I guess is what it's called. The IRC has an electrical section in only one section, only one rule. <laughs> because these corrugated stainless steel guys could not get it into the code book. The code is saying, look, let's go back again. What's the code say? Information on note two. Go to 54. That's all the code says. The code doesn't tell you how to do anything because we're not part of that. So they couldn't get it in the code. So they go to the IR, IR code telling you you have to comply what's going on. And so whatever anybody wants you to do, you need to do it. Or you do it, whatever it is. Mario. Yeah, Mike, and to your point, an informational note is not enforceable. Now, if it's in some other code adopted by your state, and maybe you, you would have to comply with those rules. So let me do a quick review. Yeah. John? That's right. what's happening in Connecticut. They're, they're, they're requiring that you bond the gas piping. Do they tell you how to do it? No. Well, <laughs> I mean, the inspector will tell you. But what there's, did you say? Uh, run number six. Okay. And just, and just bond it to, uh, you know, your, your grinding electro conductor. Just bond it to that or, you, you know, whatever you're talking about. Now, that's not our code. No. All right, that's just no. some guy telling you what he wants you to do. Right. And, and my advice to my son and like that, now I fight, on, I die on every hill, but I don't recommend anybody else to do that, okay? Right. And I said, Michael, whatever they tell you they want you to do, just do that. It's not part of our electrical code. But understand something, probably that guy does not know that the heart piping doesn't need to be bonded, right? Right. He probably doesn't know that the black piping doesn't need to be bonded. Right. He probably doesn't know that. He just knows, hey, there's gas piping that needs to be bonded. Well, those, there's a lot of flexible connections on appliances. Like, so like for a range or something like that, it will come up with hard pipe, then you'll have that flexible piece. And that's why they're asking yeah, you to do that. That is true. Yeah. Okay, all right, so we got that done. It's whatever they want you to do, mm -hmm. just do it, but it's not part of our code. <laughs>